The North Houston Highway Improvement Project officially commenced with a groundbreaking on October 16th, after 21 years of development. This transformative project will realign I-45 with Highway 59, significantly altering the east side of downtown Houston and addressing critical issues related to commerce, transportation, flooding, and community amenities like parks. Spanning from Highway 59 near Spur 527 to Beltway 8 along I-45, the project is slated for completion by 2042. The day before the groundbreaking, TxDOT held an open house for citizens to ask questions and learn more about the initiative where we gathered insights from several Houstonians. I sell real estate and I sell Houston and so I need to know what's happening in the city, uh, especially with the freeways and all of the changes that they're making with 45 so that I can explain it to my clients and to people that are moving here. Um, I can help them to understand why it's okay to move on 45 eventually, right? And how beautiful it's going to be, especially with the capital things that they're putting in. I live nearby, and so some of the construction for segment two in particular is, is going to impact me on my daily commute and, and all that kind of stuff. So I was just coming here to get some more information, get all the details, see what's going on. And, and we put together seven pages of changes that we thought would make the design of I-45 better and submitted them to TxDOT. And we didn't hear anything until just recently back from those seven pages. The design and uh, the, essentially the taking of businesses and churches and people's residences uh, was because of the widening, the excessive widening of uh, I-45 North. Uh, I'm thrilled to find out that um, the cemetery up there, up there by Hollywood, I'm, I'm glad to find out it's not going to be touched. It's just, they're just uh, improving dra drainage and stuff. And I, I just feel so happy that my, uh, my parents are still resting in peace. Thank God. Nobody's uh, touching over there. It's more the more immediate impacts are the ones that are, are really on my mind. Um, I definitely see the long-term vision for it, but I don't necessarily see how it plays into the growth of Houston necessarily. 25 is horrible. I don't care what time of day you get on it. And so with all of the changes that they're making, I think that'll be extremely uh, helpful with the flow and it will increase growth. We're, I don't care what time of day you get on any of the freeways here now, they're crowded. So I think that this will eventually um, allow for uh, the traffic flows to be much better. And also with the flooding, with all of the changes they're making with the flooding and the drainage and things that they're putting in place. Yes. I'm also concerned about there is not true uh, access for uh, Metro. My main thing on the whole project is the water. When Harvey came and there was a lot of water, it backed up all up into this, the, the, the street out in front of here was just a river. I am happy about the improvements, but at the same time, I feel sad because some neighborhoods, there's some people that's gonna be, gonna be moved out of the way because of this uh, project. So I feel like it is a plus for the improvement, but there is going to be a minus that is at the cost of somebody. Somebody's going to have to move, leave the neighborhood, or just some businesses will be will have to be moved somewhere else. So I just feel like there's a plus and a minus to this construction project. But I know they always say to change is always, is always a cost to be paid for change. For Houston City Beat, I'm Mike Acosta with news that matters to Hugh.